What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. We have received the first beta version of Android 14. Here I've got the Pixel 6a on which I have already installed Android 14 beta 1. And in this video, we are going to take a look at some new features or new changes which have been added on this iteration of Android. We have already seen the features added on developer preview of Android 14. Google added a few features there. Now on beta 1, we have got a few minor changes or features which have been added. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now when the phone is locked, and you key in the password it shows this animation and if somebody is peeping in on the screen they can actually see which numbers are you keying in so to prevent this we've got an all new toggle now in security settings let's go to settings and tap on security and privacy here we've got device lock let me open this now here on screen lock we have got this icon the settings icon here i'll just tap on this and open it as you can see we have got this all new toggle under screen lock enhanced pin privacy it says disable animations while entering the pin let me just enable this now now let's lock the phone and try to unlock it Using the pin, as you can see, there is no animations. Now, when you key in the password, it will be difficult for someone to peep into your screen and see which numbers you are keying in, as there is no animation at all. That's the first important new feature we have. Now, the second one is transparent navigation bar. Now on Android 14, we can have a transparent navigation bar. This option is available in developer settings. I've already enabled the developer settings on this phone. Let's go to system settings and open developer options. Under drawing section, we have got this toggle here, transparent navigation bar. Or you can just search for the transparent navigation bar here. You will get this toggle. It says make navigation bar background color transparent by default. I'll just enable this. Now you can see a navigation bar is transparent, but this change is not really prominent. We can't really see complete transparency in the navigation bar here, at least on this Google Pixel 6a. But if you closely look at it, we can see that there is some transparency here. Probably in the next beta, we should be able to see this working properly. The next one is an all new toggle under lock screen settings called show weather. Now when you disable this toggle, the weather information should not be showing up on the lock screen, but this feature is not currently working. Probably in the future, we will see this toggle working for the weather information on the lock screen. Now let's move to the next feature. Let's just take a screenshot and open it. Now here you can see at the bottom, the markup tools, the pens are actually showing the colors which you have already selected. So whenever you try to mark up a screenshot, you will know the color of the pen which is already selected. So that you don't really need to tap on the pen icon to see the selected color. As you can see, I'll select red. The pen is showing in red. When I select a different color, let's say pink, the pen is depicting the pink color, which is very useful. These are some of the minor features which have been added on Android 14 Beta 1. In the previous developer previews, we did see some changes such as the all new back button. And we saw the security and privacy tab, which does not show any drop down menus now. We have to tap on each settings to get into it. And then we also saw predictive back gesture feature which seems to be working a little better on Android 14 Beta 1. As you can see, if you have enabled the gesture navigation, whenever you use the back gesture, it is going to give you a glimpse of the previous page on which you are going to land. This is supposed to work on the third party applications as well in the future. On iPhones, we already have this predictive back gesture. All the third party applications also support this and hoping to see this feature soon on the Pixel devices as well as on all other Android devices. And then we got flash notification feature. Whenever you get a notification, the screen is going to flash. This feature is already there on Samsung Galaxy phones. And now we have got this on the Android 14 on the Pixel phones as well. And then we saw the new clock option when you try to customize the home screen under wallpaper and style section. But this option is not showing up right now. Maybe in the future we will get this back. And that's going to be a really cool feature. These are some new changes or new features we have got on Android 14. If you have found anything new apart from these changes, do drop a comment. Now, if you want to ask me my opinion about whether you should install the beta one or not i would say don't install it because it's quite unstable it keeps crashing and there are a lot of bugs on this beta one i'll keep you guys posted about beta 2 as and when it gets released stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you find this video useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye